President Curry? Here. Vice President Mandersham? Present. Treasurer Mark Kurt? Here. Parliamentary Navarre? Present. Senator Abai? Present. Senator Adam? Senator Baber? Present. Senator Belogan? Yeah. Senator Barrios? Here. Senator Billings? Senator Byram? Here. Senator Davis? Here. Senator Foss? Here. Senator Freshour? Here. Senator Gamarian? Here. Senator Guy? Senator Hernandez? Here. Senator Jumper? Present. Senator Luna? Here. Senator Martin? Here. Senator Martinez? Here. Senator Medina? Here. Senator Miller? Present. Senator Moosey? Here. Senator Rogers? Here. Senator Schultz? Here. Uh, Senator Shelton? Here. Senator Shelton? Here. Yeah. Here. Okay, I got you. Um, Senator Shipley? Here. Senator Staley? Here. Senator Saeed? Here. Senator Templeman? Here. Senator Toole? Here. Senator Williams? Senator Yen? Here. And Senator Zerlin? Here. Um, is there any discussion about the minutes from last week's meeting that's January 21st? January 21st? All in favor of the minutes from January 21st, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here today. Uh, if you look at the top of the meetings, uh, please take a look at that. Uh, especially if you can, I really appreciate it. I thought the town hall meetings were overall a success. I thought that um, they're very important for uh, ensuring that adequate student input on uh, an issue of serious. Um, so we're nearing the end to a process that's been about three months long. Uh, we have one more meeting after this meeting before the February 4th weekend's meeting in Galveston. And that's where the university presidents will go and will present. The tuition proposals to the Board of Regents and the Board of Regents ultimately make their decision. I don't know if they can February or they can later be yes, no. But um, if we're going to act one way or the other, we're going to act next week. There's not a ton of time. Um, so today I want to ask for Sarah Freshman. There she is. Uh, the Student Affairs Committee to draft a letter. On letter and other, and then have us vote on it next week. So it's a letter of support, that's fine. And then we'll just vote yes or no, and then that will affirm the decision one way or the other. So get working on that this week, please. Thank you. Uh, the tuition proposal is up on Blackboard today. We've been working on getting it for uh, a little while, um, and so it's finally up on Blackboard today. For everyone to see, along with the PowerPoint presentation from the town halls, if you haven't seen it already, go look at it. Um, there's some helpful information in there. Um, and more specific information with that in the past. So, go look at that. Um, I also put up today, I also put up the campus carry uh, proposal that they've asked us to send out to all students. Once we give the update the directory, I'll send it out to all students, but I didn't have that set up on Blackboard right now. Um, continue checking Blackboard throughout the week next week because we will not be meeting in this room next week. I'll say it one time. We are not meeting in this room next week. We'll meet somewhere else. I don't think we've had a confirmation. We have had a confirmation on it. Okay. RBN 3035. So you can write that down. That's RBN 3035. Um, I'll put up a block as well. 5 p.m. next week, same time, same everything. And that'll be the remainder of the stuff. Um, other than that, I'm happy to pay. Thank you all for the uh, hard work. And uh, that we have already put in the discussion. Any questions? Yes. I'd just like to add if, uh, this, if the Student Affairs Committee next week brings their proposal or brings their resolution to the body and the majority of the body feels like we're not ready to vote, we don't have to vote. Uh, they would like a vote, the administration would like a vote, but we don't have to vote if we don't want to. So I just kind of want to make that clear. Any other questions? Vice President Nations. My uh, committees have been set. I think that's uh, the same as any you were happy, except for the other final conversation that I uh, have scheduled. But uh, everyone else should be happy in their committee. Uh, if you have a problem with yours, let me know as soon as possible so I can set that one up. Uh, upcoming events, I'm going to try and talk about each meeting. Then at breakfast, uh, time is still the 
to be announced. Uh, and also, we'll be very smart uh, April 15th. We put on by Pat and as well. Um, they're really popular last year. And the guy in TJ Sullivan, who is the motivational speaker, uh, will be coming in March. Uh, so, those are mine. As we move forward here, if you have any ideas as well or other events in this semester, please let me know. Any questions for Vice President Vanderschatz? Hey everyone, um, I don't have anything, uh, but I do have things for committee meetings. A uh, quick thing uh, for Zoom people, if you guys can talk louder, uh, it's breaking up from every other word, so let's talk louder. You guys, there's everyone. Yeah. Uh, any questions for Secretary Good evening, everybody. Uh, I hope that you're all having a good week. Uh, this week, I worked on getting some SGA requests set up, and we did meet this week. Uh, Senator Bay will go ahead and give us an update uh, on the SGA reports. Um, we've been working on uh, just discussing this tuition and mandatory fee increase that uh, the administration has officially submitted to the Board of Regents. Uh, and like President Free said, this is on Blackboard now, so please go ahead and review this. It's kind of a lengthy document. If any of it doesn't make sense, please ask somebody so we can try to get some clarification. Um, we want to make sure that if we do vote next week, we all understand what we are voting for, what's in this 16 or so page document. So that's important. Uh, that's all I have. Any questions? I just want to say, if you have a turn in to do verification form, if you turn in by next Thursday, or if it's not turn in by next Thursday at the end of the day, it'll be one of the two passes. The second thing, I have a couple of you who haven't turned in the sheets or you read the app, you read the app to call to get out last week and finally say, you know, tell you about this minute. So, people who I don't have for are Victoria, we see Alexander Churchill, Phil Luna, and Christian name and Michelle Yadden. So, if you guys have a read, please do, and then sign one. Any questions? Whole business, there is no. I'd like to motion to open up the floor for discussion on the tuition and mandatory fee proposal. All in favor, please say aye. All those, any objections? I really just wanted to open it up to see if, if you guys um, had any thoughts on it. If anyone has, if anyone had any thoughts on the town hall, um, I just thought that it would be good to make those thoughts known. I don't have any specifics right now, but um, I just thought it would be nice to talk about. <laughs> For those who went to the town hall, you can find it informative. You learned something, uh, and maybe share something you talk about. <laughs> I hope they were uh, more straightforward this time with their regime regarding student fees. Uh, I'm still kind of not entirely sure what's going on with the uh, fees sign up, why they want to increase it, but it's so interested in it. Or that's it, I understand what it's for. Um, and I know that the event's not really necessarily out of the board of regions, but uh, excluding that, uh, the job is instructive. Um, I'm sure you're had more of a turnout. Um, obviously, it comes more, it's always better. But um, considering considering the turnout, but like the the points made and the, the contributions made by by students were um, done. Uh, I unfortunately wasn't able to go to the meeting because I had work, but I just kind of had a general comment, I guess, about administration. I just don't think they've done the greatest job. Because, as I understand it, um, President Free didn't even get the tuition proposal until about a week ago. And I think we could have had a lot better turnout at the top of the meetings if students would be able to get in the form. Yes, also, um, I had spoken to, I remember the name of the lady who was presenting. Uh, she's more than a few students. She had mentioned she was going to be sending us the PowerPoint. It's on Blackboard. It is Blackboard. And then I actually put the entire, so I put the entire proposal as well. So you have to talk about the entire I agree with Senator Shipley. Uh, the on
I think it would have been nice if um, we would have gotten this uh, a couple of weeks ago, or if it was sent out to the students or, or something like that uh, weeks ago, whenever it was originally submitted to the regents. I think that we might have seen a higher turnout at the town halls because people would have known uh, how much of a how much of an increase that we're looking at here. Because when you say tuition increase, that could be half of one percent, or it could be a fifteen or fifty percent increase. Students so no. I think that that might have helped with the attendance at the town hall. I didn't get to go to the town hall, but uh, I happened to have a conversation with at least three to five students. And they said, going to the town hall doesn't make a difference at all because what is going to happen is going to happen in the place. And, uh, I just felt that it's important that we share that with uh, this body, with this house. And I would leave my other comments I'm about I'm gonna make, you know, later, you know, so when I'm given the opportunity to do so. And it's concerning this house and, and how we go about the process, you know, how we do our things here, and how I think, you know, the decisions that we're making as a people or as a city that's in from there could 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 hinder some of the decisions that we as a student are making. You know, I won't go into the long details of that right now, but I would want uh, at least uh, three minutes to talk about it, and I would raise my hand up as I want to talk about it more. But let's, let's, I, I think the decision that we'll make here, if it's going to make some great impact, you know, in the tuition, tuition fee and all of that stuff, we need to put our house in order. I think at this point, I'm, I'm speaking for myself, and I think I'm speaking also on behalf of some few senators that I've talked about here, they feel like they're not getting their words are not been heard. And I want to talk about it just for three minutes more, but I will I will I will hold them for now and let this process continue. I'm sorry to hear that I'm just gonna talk to the town hall um, I'll say that I was there and I orchestrated most of them and I introduced people and uh, had a pretty good time to send all of them up and I can tell you that uh, at least I hope that the input that was given by students will be taken seriously. Um, because like you said, up, you know, the Board of Regents themselves are gonna have a decision. And whatever happens ultimately will happen. However, there has to be a system of accountability in my opinion. Uh, you know, and, and you know, the administration they need to know that they, they're not they're not walking around with students all the time. They don't necessarily know um, some of the problems that students face because they're just not all what they encounter every day. And so uh, the biggest thing that I took away from the town halls is that there was, a, there was a lot of students who had issues that completely surprised the administration and frankly completely surprised myself. And I am pretty sure that everyone at the town hall will tell you that, uh, at least I hope, that uh, you know, they did help. And uh, they gave a chance to say, hey, you know what, I know this isn't something that you've been thinking about just to be on the target. This is a real problem and some of them might be fairly easy problems to solve. And so uh, I am disappointed to hear that. Yes. So I did get to go to both of the town hall meetings, and while I do feel like they should have come to us sooner, and their line of communication should have been open more, the what happened at the town hall was very effective, and students were able to give ideas, and they were really receptive to them, like the Dr. Doty and. I don't remember the female name. Laura Jackson. Jackson. Laura Jackson. She, they, they were very open and receptive. They wrote things down um, and they stated it all and they wanted to know details. Because ultimately, in order for the Board of Regents to pass this tuition increase, if we so choose to you know, support it, then they have to go to them and say, this is what we want to do with that money. And they're getting those ideas from students. So I understand that students think that their voice might not matter. But if you never try to make your voice matter, it's never going to matter either. So I think it's really important that if we move forward with this, we emphasize that these ideas of the tuition increase came from students that participated in the town hall meeting. Because the only way to change whether your voice matters or not is to have a voice to start with. I was at both uh, town hall meetings as well. It was good to see that the students also mirrored what we discussed in December. Uh, the same issues that we brought up in December of SGAE was the same thing that the students had, with a minor differences and maybe one or two things that they want to see. So the, the students and, and us are connected, and we are about talking about the same thing. Yeah. 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 Y
I'm just curious if maybe the things you guys talked about on the and the things that Ms. Laura talked about at the high school were focused on black people, or they were, there's another way to see it if we didn't send it back. Oh, go ahead. Both time halls were recorded, and so we only got to have those with the photos on the wall. Okay, black people. But I just believe what, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss here. I, I, I think what he was trying to say is, and I'm trying to pick up the sentiment as well, like really, it's, it's almost been an impression coming from the speakers that we've had, is that any of the inclusion be increasing. Like, it's almost been uh, a slight of patronizing attitude since when they would come in and speak to the, speak to the assembly. And uh, I believe what he was really trying to say really wasn't questioning the infrastructure of the effectiveness of the town hall meeting. I think you didn't try to point out that that's really just kind of a sign of dog and membership. And that maybe we should just the senator be aware of that when we go and vote. That that you know it, it's smoke and mirrors and what he believes in the administration is, is really like that's just how they can get something passed through without a large like uh, negative opinion coming from the students. Like it, 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 it's giving us it's giving us a cookie while while they're eating the steak. So I, I believe that's that that's what he was trying to point out. So I just want I just want to go on record for defending defending this thing. So. Um, echoing his sentiments and uh, also responding to some uh, uh, prior comments about student involvement and effectiveness of town halls. Uh, I initially didn't expect that much out of the town hall, and I, I still kind of agree that I'm, I still feel like there are things to be. Um, I guess it's common thought regarding, regarding this issue, but I, I really like seeing things that we had actually contributed as, as a, a student body actually be put into the presentation. Like, like there are things that we said that were put in their PowerPoint, um, and that at least shows that at some level they are listening to us. Uh, and I, I think uh, high level that I really was expecting. Um, and that, that makes me um, cautiously optimistic about, about the input that was given from students and all those who attended the town halls. So, while it's um, maybe not the most ideal session to, to contribute, later, I still feel like that what, what the thing we contributed uh, and taken down and will be considered. Any other uh, so over the next week, just take a few moments out of your time to look at all the documents that are on Blackboard, read over it all, and um, let's talk about this next week. So I'd like to make sure you can do that. Any discussion? Please sit back. All right. Any other questions? Thank you. Any new business? We have... Um, a few people that have reached out in the past week to join and become senators. Um, and so I'd like to I'll ask them one by one to come up and introduce themselves to you and give a quick brief introduction of who we are. Um, the first one is Nina and Marion. Uh, you might come up and just you can come up. You don't have to stand here. You have to say something standing here and give you your introduction a little bit about yourself. And she's uh, she wants to be a freshman senator. Uh, yeah. Can I just say yeah. a little bit of this? Uh, my name is Alina. I'm a freshman. Uh, my major is bio. I, um, the twin sisters is right there in the second row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the first point next year. Um, well, basically, I'd like to be part of the community.
just uh, she's freshman wow. seat. Freshman seat, no, freshman seat. You can have I think we'd have to be open for real. Anybody else? Motion to vote on the like inheritance of your seat. All in favor of voting for Anita Aye. Opposed? All in favor of approving Anita Kamari to be the new freshman center? Please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Any questions? Thank you. All right, um, let's see. What we'll call on you come up and let's see. <laughs> Say we'll do all of these. We'll do all of these swearings together at once. Um, he knows that, uh, he's also running for a freshman seat, so you can keep it just and say we'll do fine. Go ahead. My name is Molly Blood. I'm a bioreader. I'm a mechanical anesthesiologist. I want to be a part of this to be a bit more leadership skills and input and see all that goes in the background of the school. So be part. Any discussion? He's also running for a freshman seat. He's too late. Yes. Yeah, uh, seems really educated. I want to see the vote for him. Let's see what time. I'm going to say you're voting for the say Aye. Uh, all in favor of recruiting Muhammad Jawad to be a freshman center, please say aye. 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 All of us. Any other questions? Here. We're just running for the position of hope. I'm a biomanager, major, I'm pre med. And, uh, I've been interested in joining the city government for a while, and I didn't get a chance for a single school. So I was just kind of trying to get him on school, but I have a lot of free time to be available um, in the time. And I'd be quite a bit. Any discussion? Lots of five. Lots of five. I have no idea. Not uh, uh, I don't know. 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 I I'm sorry, yeah, wait, one more. I'm sorry, one more. So you guys. Is he a friend of mine? Same thing. He was a freshman. My name is Hero. I'm a freshman. I'm a Also involved in FICA. I'm really excited to join this UK and make a difference. Thank you. For the seat of engineer. Any discussion? No, I prefer violence. All that to this guy, it's really cool. Uh, I get to be a podcaster, there's an opportunity as well. He's very organized and has a lot to, uh, to offer yesterday. He gets those hard leadership skills and he's earning a whole bunch. Um, in my heart, he's a really cool guy. Um, and so I, I highly recommend him. Any other discussion? Yes. What was this? Engineer. That's why I kind of threw you the, the look over there. Uh, instruction management. It's still in your college. Like you guys do totally different stuff, but yeah, it's still part. Maybe yes. Second. <laughs> All in favor? For voting on GM or GM, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Any questions? Great. All in favor of approving Gio Rodriguez to the College of Engineering seat? Please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Any questions? You? Right. Now, 
So you guys all come up here and stand together, you know, you hold hands or something. Look out to the crowd. Wave your hands in mind. So we'll do a new freshman first. So you can see the whole Constituents. His name is Mark Barbary. He's a commuter, and he told me a certain time when he comes in at the uh, business and rack with the engineering building and parking lots, he gets very congested. And he said he had a lot of hard time dealing with that to the student. And he just believed the best approach solution for this would be a uh, parking garage in that area. And I told him with the new home coming up. That we should be getting a new business building for all business majors, and then we should get more space at the arts and sciences, probably arts and sciences. And so, uh, with that being said, I told them that just give it time, which would be two to four years, depending on how long it takes, that that shall work out. And then there's a second issue I talked to uh, another constituent of mine, her name was Carla, I, I didn't know how to pull her name down. And she said it's very dark at, outside after sunset. She had like a night flight or something like that. 
and that uh, it's in the business building as well and in the parking lot. And so at Arkham Creek, she feels like there needs to be more security guards around that area at the time. She recommended like two in that area or maybe a police officer, patrol car, something like that. And then uh, the third issue, this I experienced myself, signed up for classes. This guy, his name is Tom, he's a criminal justice manager, and he said classes are limited and home available in certain semesters. They come and intervene for all students that are looking for certain classes, certain terms. And he proposed that to have more of a full time faculty each semester that teaches four courses instead of just three. And uh, have more night classes available as well as more online courses available. And I told him that would come along with the uh, tuition increase proposal as well. I mean, not everything's going to be covered, but yeah, some of these will be covered. And uh, that's just what I came up with this past week. Thank you, Thank you. Really, a lot of the uh, Student voices, uh, like all right, but one particular uh, Twitter comment that we can see here, last year, the patient's major. Um, he kind of echoes some similar sentiments, a lot of math majors, and a lot of uh, people in the HPR echo regarding the computer labs there. Um, and that was something I brought up in the uh, town hall on behalf, uh, on behalf of one of uh, my constituents. That's that the computers are, are old. And, but really slow, and that particularly about our program is requiring you to spend classes and on these computers. Uh, I bring some certain volumes, uh, voices. I also have a lot of constituents complain, uh, or at least make note of uh, lack of seats in classes, uh, uh, where classes are something like 20, more than 20 seats, uh, uh, and are only often this great. And so, classes like that. So, uh, you can find ways to offer more classes uh, or get more options regarding uh, fulfilling uh, competencies and course requirements through other classes, so offering uh, similar classes or finding uh, parallels between classes and using the same credits. Um, any of those things would be one of the solutions that we brought up by the students. A lot of the students I spoke to kind of break through uh, after after classes and all this. A lot of them just kind of out. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the only thing that I would like to address to about is tuition increases. I've had a lot of students come to me and ask um, what was to be expected for the next semester. And one of the really interesting things that was said is from one particular student on the market sciences is that tuition did break go up to the point where to drop out. Um, this is a scary thought, and so I just directed him to Dr. Debbie because obviously he knows more about it than I do, which has every he knows every aspect of the tuition increase and what can be expected after the board agreements go on in. So um, I just want to encourage you that if you do you know talk to students, just try and tell them that it's not going to be enough for it to remain to drop out of college. I'm just trying to warn them and tell them to go to Dr. Dobie, um, especially if they think that it's not going to be any other classes. And so that's it. Business and technology. That's <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so the, the real excitement going on in the business and technology because it's, it's almost official fall of 2018. There'll be a nice new building over here, but in that public uh, ice house across the street from that, with the with the new parking area, which will free up HPR because that's the industrial technology from Mass Commons there. So it'll free up some Mass Commons space, and then of course the arts and sciences. If you don't believe me? On the first floor, you'll see the 2018 building that's business, and then on the second floor, arts and sciences have the model. Um, so that's going to free up some space. But that won't happen until fall of 2018. So all I ask. You're going to get some stitches and be patient with parking. Um, that's the only thing I can say about that. Other concerns, of course, uh, to uh, piggyback off of them is the town, uh, is the tuition increase. Um, there was some uh, discussion about that. I told them about the fears. 
Um, we are, we're still going to be one of the, uh, I guess, inexpensive colonies around East Texas, even with this increase. Um, so uh, that's right. Thank you. Can you hear it from sides? Oh, I was on the back of your agenda last week. Wow. She, she was hiding it from you. If you don't have anything yet, yeah, that's, that's okay. No, that's in the report. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just great. Just straight in your house. What happens to this first vaccine? Go to place. I've talked to a lot of people since the first one ever. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, uh, reports. Um, so we met today, uh, met with Nina. Uh, my name was listed there, my name was only uh, two people and myself. So uh, <laughs> right now, I try to please everyone and the other committees but myself. So. Um, yeah, so we're you know, just talking more about the events during the semester, which I briefly got on a few minutes ago. Um, so I'll just give you guys updated once again. You know, any events that you guys want to come up with, info tables, even small little things, um, as well as the senator projects, come up to me and talk to me about it. We've got a budget for these things. And so, um, yeah, just any little thing more cheaper on campus or at our event. Thanks. Any questions? Any questions? Uh, communications committee will be meeting um, on Mondays from 11 to 12. Uh, there is a quick change though. Blake Barrios will be on Student Life Committee. And um, other than that, I will be sending out emails uh, saying regarding uh, timings and the location. Is the timing again? Who knows what time? Oh, okay, 11 to 12 p.m. When? Monday. Can I not say that? No, you said I didn't. Oh, okay. Any questions? Uh, SGSC. Hey guys, so I uh, kind of got to off to a good start this semester in terms of distributing funds to different uh, student groups that come and ask money. Um, this week we had the Liberty Club, they came and asked for about 80 bucks for two different events. One's like their kickoff, just the first meeting. And this is, by the way, if you are part of a student organization or you know the song, uh, this is open to everybody. So this is really a lot of money, free money that's out there that they really have to fill out a form that's on the website for the student government. Um, and then they can submit that kind of long like in advance. And then we have to sit and come on into the day and then we make sure it's important to follow the rules and regulations. That's like free money for the group. So uh, Matthew's obviously treasure. If you have a question, you better talk to him about it. Um, and so we approved them for that. The other event was the Robert Rules of War Workshop that they're putting on. And this is Rebecca Jackson, the Assistant Director of Models we have here at Ohio. And she's going to be leading that. So I thought that might be interesting for anybody here to talk about rules or hear from other student groups who want some um, experience with that. That will be happening. Um, that's on the at 12 p.m. Business building. So that's February. Uh, what time is Our meeting. Our meeting is at uh, Wednesdays at 3.30. Yeah. Let's try to talk to you all. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll meet this Monday at 1.30 and we'll see if I can meet Mr. I think Sean, Alex, Garrett.
they have to do something to do something. So uh, where they said that the sound installation was for in the study room. So uh, that's sort of like that's uh, I guess long study. And um, also the media room they were playing that close to the team again. Um, and the media room is like one of the only sources for television for these students. And so people who you know, want to watch late night shows or whatever they want to do in the room, uh, they don't have that access. Uh, also, we do call clubs and find available at times. And um, a lot of the students, they said that they preferred if they had more music on campus, like less known artists even uh, playing on Harvey Deck or something. Some of them bring the students together uh, to sort of you know, social experience. And uh, they also said that they wanted more like snack bars or food options in the residential areas themselves. So, like for example, like cereal bar or something in Ohio or New Pines, uh, so that they don't have to go out late at night to drive and get food. And uh, this is like a state alternative to driving out late at night. Uh, also, a lot of the pharmacy students uh, they claim that they start school a week early and they stay a week later, and they don't have food options since the met open to them at those times. So they're forced to go off campus to eat, and so um, they like that the met were available. Thank you. Uh, uh, today, there's a red one for me. Okay. Here. This is the other. Senator Dalton and I are in the campus right now. Uh, we have discussed uh, a couple of things that affect Palestine campus directly, and that was brought up in the town hall uh, by myself. Uh, it was just an issue where where we open at 6 30 for people to be able to go and eat breakfast, they do not have a cafeteria. So there is only open at 8 o'clock. So if you had class and you wanted to study a little bit before class, there was no place for the students to meet. So uh, that was an issue that he felt quite like important to the students over at Palestine, and I talked about it in the town hall and a couple other people. That's it for the last what do you do with these suggestions? So when we have a few rounds of them, um, the committee chair can really address them and try to find a new type of suit. So they would even speak to, speak to uh, Al Mariani about the net and the possibilities of keeping that open that first week or second week or um, whatever the situation was there. Uh, we've also specifically set up the student library or student affairs committee to specifically write down and address uh, the issues. You know, my replacement will look at the group of the other and like that would make you know, the streamlined process. So, I probably need to get that too. I'm obviously going to break it up in here. <laughs> <laughs> but, so I would be thinking about there's a lot of things here that I can address that will never go past right now. So these committees should be getting together in terms of doing so. Some of these things we are working on, like the black fire, you know, that's that's the red deal over there. Uh, and then other places on campus, like that. All you do is stand up and give the report, and then I don't have to be here, and I don't like that stuff. To take down what it is that you're talking about, I can't help it. And that's why I'm here now. First of all, we can um, we can start to find a way to make sure that we get a, a, a
just on the, on the note of what I was talking about earlier, I just want to say a few three minute word if you guys allow me. Um, the comment I'm about to make, sometimes when we make comments like this, a battle line will be drawn, and people will say you it's us against the other. You know, but God is my witness, my intentions is play. I don't want it to be a battle. I want it to be something that will effectively fix our process. And like what our advisor was saying is now, oftentimes we give reports and we don't get the follow-up that comes with that report. And that's part of what I was saying earlier about us putting our house in order. All of doing going through the process, that's that's what will make this house to be to be distinguished from what they're doing because it's an honorable house and we're sitting the students. That's one side of it. And the second part of this conversation comes about from what happened last last uh, in the last week. I noticed that oftentimes, and this is from my observation through my last semester throughout, you know, my last semester and, and, and beginning this semester also, is that each time, I think most of the time, Weber will be the one that has the courage to stand up and maybe say something, it will be almost the attack by all of the executives. You know, no one, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, this is no battle. I'm not, I'm not battling with anybody. And I want you guys to just listen to my words and say, if it's true, if it's true, you guys take it, if it's not true, you guys put it aside. But you guys will battle them, and what that is doing, as we observe, is that it's not gonna allow other students to, to stand up sometimes and, and share their opinion. And it's gonna make this house to continue to, to feel weak. And, and also, when you say, well, for one, last week I understand that this question was not even understood. Before the things that was going back and forth was just going on, we didn't take our time to understand what people were trying to say. You know, we are here as a people, we have volunteered ourselves to be here. All you guys over there are getting paid. Not like anything with that. You know, I'm not, I'm not against that. But we respect what you guys are doing. You, I respect your, 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 your positions and what you're doing. And I'm not speaking totally against, I'm not speaking against that. But give us a benefit of when somebody speak, understand what they're saying, and specifically answer the question so that this house won't feel like we are divided against each other. There are some members are, are being treated differently, while some are being treated unfairly. That's some of the conversation I'm hearing from other senators. You know, and this house has been the way that some of the people that support your agendas are the ones that you appoint to become chairman of committees, which is not supposed to be so. I think the chairman of committees is not, is not, is not, is not shared across the board because we all here to have a sense of leadership in order to have a voice heard for our students and to make something very meaningful out of, the, out of our time here because we volunteer our time to be here. And I'm just sharing this opinion now, and whichever one makes sense, let's use it. Whichever one don't make sense, let's straight to the side. But um, I, I mean well, I, I only want us to be more effective in that process and for us to listen to one another, for us to see that we are in this together and we are in this to make a difference you know, as you go along, and we are all leaders in our own right. You know, whether you, you're getting paid for the position you, you, you are in right now, or you're going to take yourself, we are still leaders, and we know this respect to your leadership. I respect everything what you guys are doing, but we can do more. That's all this conversation is about. We can do more, and we can do better. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to say I agree. Uh, when just, I, I don't think the person that, that writes the check should be able to log in their time hours. I mean, that's just internal control. I'm, I'm a I'm an auditor. So, uh, but anyway, uh, the announcement I want to make is I got some very good news, and that is that uh, the Past Catering Center has extended their hours uh, this semester into Friday. I know this is something I brought uh, in front of the assembly last semester. I know it's something that y'all gave me a lot of support on. So uh, they offer tutoring. Uh, Pretty much every day. In fact, they've, they've extended the hours for all their tutors. Like their tutors are making more money, they're having more time, so like that you can come in and get help. So uh, definitely go in and take advantage of that resource. I know that it's great. I mean, it's not nearly as fun and comprehensive as the fall semester. I mean, anybody that's taught on with that. But uh, pretty much 
kind of like the test module. So you know, even if even if you just got a little homework question, don't don't really just sit and try and figure it out on your own. Go into the tutors and show them that that you're using their resources. I guarantee you, they're going to continue to provide them. Uh, yeah. What's more, can you read these seven hours or so? Well, it's 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 not necessarily uh, just a uh, set. You know, I don't know for different but it's just it, well, it's not on the website because they're at the the UT Pilot website kind of locked up on. <laughs> they do have fire, and if you go, it's on the front desk, like up up on the computer. Uh, but yeah, so this is this is really good news. You know, I set through a conference last semester with the director, and you know, I kind of got the motion behind her and let her know that we were all in support of it, and uh, she can talk to her budgeting uh, officer and. Got it, got it allocated to where it's open. So uh, I'd like to thank you all and make sure to check that out. Thank you so much. Um, working on that. That's great. Great to hear. Um, yeah. On this past year, I know, uh, one of our guys gave a class and talked to us about it. We get a free t shirt off of five visits. So, one more time. Thank you. 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 <laughs> so the senator project I've chosen to work on this semester is or for this year is a sexual reproductive health fair that's going to go on during P3P. It'll be on the April 12th and 13th. If you're interested in helping or participating in it, let me know. Um, so far, ETMC has agreed to um, have a mammogram station, and I'm working on getting prostate people out here as well. Um, and then we of course will have condoms, STI information, testing information, or an MPA or two come out. So if you're interested in helping with that, let me know. If you're not school too, but that will be coming up. And the health expo will be on the first. Just to kind of add, I guess, kind of make wrap up on a positive thought. I think that we're doing a pretty good job and things are going in a good direction. If five freshmen feel that they need to take the time of their evenings to come up here and, and take part in something that's a little bit bigger than the general student is asked for. So just, I don't know, kind of put that out there and just want to say thanks to the five people who want to step up with it. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Uh, yeah, see me too. <laughs> Uh, Senator Tool, so what would you say was that like a uh, practice safe sex kind of deal? Um, it's going to be sexual and reproductive. Okay, so I am a health science major, very familiar with sexual and reproductive health. I can talk about it all day. Uh, but what it would be if you have a table out there with information about your body, your body parts, what you do with them, and when you should test them. Because there's this. Uh, Myth that you don't have to get tested for STIs or STDs, whatever you want to call them. Um, and there's this notion that you can't, you're not going to get it. Uh, East Texas, specifically Tyler, has a really high rate of gonorrhea and co infection with gonorrhea is chlamydia, so you should be getting tested. However, not a lot of people are getting tested, so funding for those getting pulled. Um, and so I think it's really important to be able to have that conversation and people not be like, what did you say? Uh, this is something you should be able to openly talk about or be able to talk to your doctor about it. Um, if you are sexually active, you should be able to feel comfortable talking to your doctor about it because if anybody, they need to know. Uh, so a lot of the information that will hand out will be information that will make it easier for you to talk to your doctor um, and just make you aware of when you should get tested and like when it comes to self breast exams, when you should start doing those, when you should get a mammogram, prostate exam, you start worrying about that and what it is because not apparently everybody knows that. Is this like from the school itself, or is it like something you got involved in outside of school? I will be hosting it starting it as me as a senator um, to support sexual education. Samantha Dwight, who is in our uh, student health and wellness, will help with it, and her peer educators are going to help. We're going to have APA from the Answer Center, a physician's assistant, she's going to come out, and then I'm working on getting our physician's assistant from our health clinic to come out. So we have reputable people. Um, ETMC is then being called as trained people as well. So it's not just a bunch of kids being like, you just have uh, <laughs> that happens all the time. I just, um, I just, I mean, hold on. I don't know. There's a little bit of people I don't want to get through. 
Well, I just want to make a quick comment real quick about that. That's a perfect example of what we want to see as Senator Robbins. Perfect example of a senator taking the initiative and finding something that you're very passionate about and bringing it amongst all of you and bringing it to the team. And so I really test all of you to do something like what she what she's taking the initiative on it. I'm helping her out with coordinating the event. And we're using some funds in order to make sure that happen. And so keep that in mind. When you're coming up with a place you're really passionate about, whether it be an experience, you know, perfect, or <laughs> okay, keep that in mind. Great, I have a question. Comment from Drake and Drake. Just saying, did you see some actual written mammograms there? Uh, well, because mammogram screening is recommended after the age of 40, they're not going to actually do mammograms there. Uh, but they're going to bring a bust and show you this is how you do a self breast exam so they're not filling you up. Um, and they will have like demonstration of what a mammogram is, that way you're comfortable with it. Because the studies show that if the child, which poor child, uh, not just because of your age, but because your parents, knows about things like that, preventative measures, they're more likely to go home and be like, hey parents, look what I learned preventatively, and that parent is more likely to go get that test done. And preventative medicine is the best form of medicine, so ultimately, I'd like to start a conversation that promotes preventative medicine because that will ultimately save you a lot of money in the long run. Any other comments? I still had a question. Uh, oh, yeah. You said attaching out condoms? Well, I will not have a condom in my hand in hand because I'm not allowed to do that. Okay. Uh, but they will then be in a bag, a SGA antivirus bag. That will have male condoms, female condoms, STI information, accidents information, and where you can get tested. Well, that's that's all I was wondering is, uh, are you going to be preaching abstinence? Because that's the number one way to prevent this to be. It's not actually the number one way uh, to prevent it. Abstinence only education is actually very unsuccessful, which is why states who have abstinence only programs have a higher rate of teen pregnancy and STI. Uh, but yes, I will do that in the I'm just saying morally. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, just real quick, I just wanted to uh, remind everybody that the deadline to register for both the primary and the uh, market. So get out there and do the Patreon view. <laughs> 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 Vice President Manderkin, Treasurer Mark Hurt, Royal McCary Navarre, Senator Bai, Senator Adams, Senator Baber, Senator Bologan, Senator Barrio, Senator Billings, Senator Byram, Senator Davis, Senator Foss, Senator Anita Gamarian, Senator Anita Gamarian, Senator Romina Gamarian, Senator Guy, Senator Hernandez, Here. Senator Jamal, Here. Senator Jawad, Senator Jumper, Senator Luna, Here. Senator Martin, Here. Senator Martinez, Here. Senator Medina, Here. Senator Miller, Here. Senator Moosey, Senator Rodriguez, Here. Senator Rodriguez, Gio Rodriguez. Oh. <laughs> uh, Senator Rogers, Here. Senator Schultz, Here. Senator Shelton. Here. Uh, Senator Shipley. Here. Senator Staley. Here. Senator Saeed. Here. Senator Templeman. Here. Senator Toole. Here. Senator Williams. Senator Yen. Here. Senator Zierlin. Here. 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 Here.